What's up, y'all? We're gonna play a tune called Fraher's Jig. It's a really cool standard session tune. It's in D, modal, minor-ish. And it's cool because it's fairly repetitive, so it should be one you'll be able to pick up pretty quickly, I think. We're gonna run through the basic melody, break it down, do all the ornaments, the usual stuff. Watch the thing first. <laughs> So we're gonna break down the basic melody, and again, this one's, it's simple and it's repetitive, which I think is kind of cool, and hopefully when we get to the ornament side of things, you'll be thinking of some ways that you can you know, make it your own. You can kind of play around with it. That's one of the cool things about such a repetitive melody. Beginning the A part here. It's like three different notes, right? I'll try that again. Right, so the second half, the first half of the second half uh, is the same as what we just did. The end is just a bit different. There's that triplet in there. So again, The B part starts in that triplet that we uh, finished up the, uh, the A part with, so. Second half of the B part is not exactly a repeat like the first, uh, like the A part was, but it, there's some amount of repetition. So here we go. So really, the second half of that is kind of a repeat of what we did in the end of the A part. So again. So that's the whole thing. Again, a lot of it's repetitive, so you can kind of play around with it, maybe hang on a note here or there. We'll go through a couple of these things. So as far as ornaments go, you're starting right off in the A part on a roll. That's how I would hear it, hear it anyway. Just because you're just sitting on that A. So again, just a simple cut there. Just gonna accent that note. Again, it's a repeat, doing the same kind of stuff. So that's pretty basic. You can put some crans there on the end. Just to kind of mix it up, again, you can, you can play around with it and keep it simple, add a few extra things, however you want to do it. The B part, there's a couple things you can do right off the bat. So I'm doing crans there. Don't have to, sometimes I'll just keep it simple. Um, and then that is just a uh, simple cut. Yeah, that's one, I don't know if I've ever really taught that or not. Um, 
you don't have a lot of options for a C natural. Uh, so you're landing on that. That's about the only thing you can do really is just tap the, the top note. So it's gonna effectively giving you an F sharp. It's one of those you gotta do quickly otherwise it makes a fairly horrible squawking sound. See, even that one wasn't very good. And then a roll on the E. And again, there you can do crans. I tend to mix it up, um, trying to play it exactly the same way twice. So hopefully you guys like that one. Again, it's just kind of a cool, simple tune. Um, everybody likes playing it. It comes up sessions a lot, uh, and it's not super common, but it's not so obscure that everyone will look at you like you're crazy. It's kind of one of those grand old tunes that's fun to bring up. Holler at me if you have any questions, requests, all that good stuff, and uh, otherwise, see y'all in the next one. Cheers.